I'm three on your side, Gary Harper. A Phoenix man moves into his brand new home and discovers there's a lot of heat coming through the windows because of the Arizona sun. So he had an idea, but that idea wound up costing him thousands of dollars. Yeah, so this, this is the patio. Um, what I wanted to have put on here was screen doors. Steve Wozniak is from New Jersey and says it didn't take long after moving into his new home to find out that Arizona can get really hot. We noticed that the sun came directly in you know, during the summertime. So Steve had an idea. If he had sunscreens installed over his windows, it would keep the inside of his house a lot cooler. Yeah, trying to keep the sun out in the afternoon in the summertime, you know, lowers a lot of the, the heat. The back of this house is all glass. So Steve hired a company called Sunscreens and More of Arizona, operated by a guy named Stephen Lange. On his website, he proudly shows he's licensed with the Arizona Register of Contractors, which made Steve feel comfortable. He was not a smooth talker, but he's just a general construction type person. Um, but yeah, you know, he had all the answers for everything. Steve says he hired the company to install numerous sunscreens, along with motorized shades at a cost of $5,600. But first, Stephen Lange demanded $2,800 up front to get that job started. When he said he needed a down payment, was there any hesitation on your part? Did you think, I don't really know this guy? Yeah, yeah there's always hesitation. Right? You, you never know what you're up against. Well, that was in June, and after handing over $2,800, Steve so says again, the contractor the and the company disappeared. Way. It's not surprising. The Register of Contractors revoked the company's license after racking up 17 consumer complaints. When Stephen Lange failed to respond to Three Inner Side's inquiries, we went to his place of business. Although no one came to the door, we did notice that Stephen Lange couldn't go far because his truck had a flat tire. After we left, Stephen Lange was photographed fixing that tire. Steve Wozniak has filed a complaint with the Register of Contractors and is hoping to get his money back through the board's recovery fund. In the meantime, he says he's learned a valuable lesson. It's disheartening, right? You, you want to trust people. You want to give them the benefit of the doubt. You want to help people out. And then when they start doing this, it, it, it hurts. You know, you, you know, you don't want to trust people. And, and that's not the type of person I want to be. I want to be able to trust people. Well, the Arizona Register of Contractors is actively investigating. If there's criminal charges filed, I'll certainly let you know in a follow-up report. By the way, this is a good reminder to always hire a licensed contractor. Because if you do and things go wrong, you stand a really good chance of getting your money returned from the Arizona Register of Contractors Recovery Fund. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.